The nose is the gateway of the upper airway complex and has a unique topography that plays a critical role in respiration, voice resonance, and air humidification. Its anatomy and physiology are uniquely modified to serve these functions. The narrowest part of the nasal passage is called the internal nasal valve. This is a valve formed by the septum, the inferior turbinates, the upper lateral cartilage, and the nasal floor. There are precise and targeted interventions for all parts of the internal nasal valve, but distraction osteogenesis maxillary expansion, otherwise known as dome, focuses on widening the nasal floor. Inspired by the late Dr. Christian Guillemineau, the concept of dome was first described by Dr. Stanley Leo and Audrey Yoon at Stanford. Dome is a precisely orchestrated approach that aims to correct missed developmental milestones which often result in sleep disordered breathing. The concept originates from the observation that patients with sleep disordered breathing have a common phenotype characterized by a high arched narrow palate, otherwise known as a transverse maxillary hypoplasia. This anatomic feature contributes to sleep disordered breathing by increasing nasal airway resistance and minimizing space for the highly collapsible tongue during sleep. Dome was designed to reverse these anatomical changes in adults with obstructive sleep apnea and nasal obstruction. This approach increases the cross-sectional area of the internal nasal valve by widening the nasal floor, a dimension not addressed by other nasal procedures. Dome results in slower nasal airflow velocity, which prevents excessive negative pressure that collapses the pharyngeal airway in OSA. Contemporary dome starts with a CT scan of the facial skeleton for analysis of maxillary anatomy. Next, the orthodontist and surgeon design a custom expander that is seated to the palatal roof. This expander is oftentimes secured by many implants. Based on information from the CT scan, osteotomies or bone cuts are made at the Lafort 1 level. Separation between the two halves of the maxilla is simple with the mid-palatal osteotomy. These osteotomies can be custom guided to allow for minimal incision and maximal accuracy. This part of dome is performed in the operating room. It takes less than one hour and most patients go home on the same day. Seven to ten days after surgery, patients will start to turn the expander at a rate determined by the orthodontist and surgeon. Generally, one centimeter of separation between the maxilla is achieved over a few weeks and this translates to approximately the same amount at the nasal floor. Realignment of the teeth typically takes place afterwards with the help of an orthodontist. Clear aligners are used to camouflage the gap between the two front teeth so that there is minimal cosmetic disruption. Currently, DOME is considered a Phase 1 procedure in the updated Stanford Sleep Surgery algorithm. It serves to optimize nasal breathing and to provide a stable foundation for other procedures.